We shift now to the New York Medical College in Valhalla. That is where a researcher who studies HIV and AIDS is cautioning people from believing a recent medical procedure could definitively cure the virus. This comes after the virus could no longer be found in a second person. Bios One's Ali Rosen has the details. Dr. Kiyosha Bond has been researching HIV and AIDS for the last 15 years. A case study published on Tuesday found a second person to experience sustained remission from the disease. A patient received a bone marrow transplant in relation to their cancer, not their HIV. And through the procedure, they went from HIV positive to HIV negative. But Dr. Bond says researchers aren't so quick to label this as a cure. Even in interviews and in the news, we were labeling that as, as a cure. But, you know, as scientists, we're a little more um, has, hesitant to, to even say that, to, to even just label it as what it is, which is long-term remission, because it's only been two incidents. Dr. Bond doesn't think a bone marrow transplant will be a procedure patients with HIV will be quick to sign up for been a difficult procedure to, for individuals to undergo and for a procedure for the, the doctors and the scientists who are involved in it for them to even replicate. And so with that, you have to be cautious mm -hmm. about how you're actually implementing this into the larger society. HIV is no longer looked at as a public health crisis, but a manageable disease. The infection rate of HIV is steady in the U.S. with 40,000 new infections annually. But we do have access to powerful medications at this time that can lead people, if they adhere to it, those who are HIV positive, they can get to the level of being undetectable. And we also, for individuals who are HIV negative, they could take medications like PEP and PrEP. With recent advancements in HIV prevention, Americans should see a decline of infections. At New York Medical College in Valhalla, Ali Rosen, Fios 1 News.